Hello from Tel Aviv. This is our eighth day here in Israel and Palestine. Our trip's coming to an end, but it's been quite an interesting, intense, but amazing time here. A lot of people either can't travel here or they just in general don't want to. So we thought it would be important to share our learnings and experiences along the way of our travel so you can see firsthand yourself what it's like here. <laughs> Shalom from Tel Aviv. So far, we've only been here for a short amount of time. We just literally went from the airport to our Airbnb and everyone's been so, so nice. Like, people were helping put our bags on the bus. This really sweet little boy helped us find our Airbnb. People were like, come on, you can make it on the bus. Yeah, like, have a on. great time in Israel, darling. And yeah, like, I'm like, what? And the weather's perfect. I can't wait to eat some delicious hummus and just food in general. Beach. Beach. And yeah, really curious to see how queer friendly is it really here and also what does the rest of the country have to offer. So yes, let's check it out. Are you seeing this? Yeah. Who is she? This is Tel Aviv, Alexis. Look at this. Oh, together. Yeah, yeah, it looks super nice. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. I got a gift. And what's your name? I mean, everyone's been amazing. So nice. Just a random gift. Okay. okay. All right, let's continue through the city. So that market was already amazing, but we don't have any cash. We have yeah. no shekels. Shekels. So we gotta get that first. But we're slowly gonna head that way, and yeah, maybe we need head to, to get the olives. Beach. We need to get hala. I don't have anything for you. It seems skinny. Yeah. First queer couple spotted. Courtesy of Alexis. Holding hands. <laughs> first meal, first snack, Medze in Tel Aviv. Excited. Yeah. Second for a couple. <laughs> Spotted. There's so many cute dogs here. They're pretty. Look at those eyes about the 20th cat we've seen. Alexis will try again. Oh dear, I sense an attack. Oh. You're messing with the wrong cat. Are you gonna jump in the sand? Yes. Let's do it. I mean, you do it. Woo! How does it feel? We made it to the beach! Celery soda is a thing. Yeah. Hmm, what's in that? But yeah, we're gonna get some drinks and sit at the beach. <laughs> no bottle opener, no problem. Let's see if it's a problem. Hold on. No, no, it's not a good lip here. Oh. 
We got our third couple here, but they're male this time. Third queer couple. Time to get our first shekels. Shing shing shing. What do they look like? I'll buy yourself something nice with that. Why is it ripped? Change of heart. Not sure what this is, but this seems to be like a gay supermarket. I'm down. So we got this building to our left and then we got this to our right. Interesting. And how did you like our first dinner here? It was so good, like so so good. I feel like people always rave about Israeli food and it did not disappoint. It was so good, so good. I hear some violin playing. It's usually so loud right outside of our Airbnb, but let's see how the vibe is right now. Quiet. Quiet. Yeah, so this was packed. So from sunset Friday till sunset Saturday is Shabbat. So not everything's closed, but seems like a lot of places are. Until it gets lit, we're doing some candy shopping. <laughs> wow, club's not open yet. Gotta hang out in front of the vintage shop that's still open. I'm totally fine with it. We've made it to the gay beach, the Hilton Beach. Hmm. I've seen I've seen better. Didn't find any gay people but found lots of dogs instead. Not mad about it. Shabbat is over, let's see if it's gonna be busy again. You have the key, yeah? Yeah. So we're going to head to the Camille market again, grab something before we head to Jerusalem. So yeah, a little snacky snack. 
Okay, that can be mine. And which one? He gave us two extras, which is a little dangerous because we're definitely going to eat every single one of them. Right, so we have officially arrived at the Jerusalem train station. And yeah, what are you expecting from this holy city? Oh, there's someone playing piano. It's already very holy. Even just on the train, seeing like the military, the people that are in the military, so Israelis have to do mandatory two years here. Yeah. So they're all like pretty young and they're just chilling there with their like the gun. K47. I don't know what they are, but it's like a machine gun. Yeah, yeah, it's a machine it's, gun. It's scary. Like Approaching Jaffa Gate, where we will enter. Alexis is covering her shoulder to look like a modest woman. I am a modest woman. Can't fool me! So, impression so far of Jerusalem. Yeah, it's really pretty, it's very clean, um, people seem to be very respectful, um, what else? The wall is interesting of course, the whole separation of like men and women, uh, it's a little odd but... bus tickets but the ticket man instead just gave us some snacks for the bus because he wasn't able to help us <laughs> so I guess maybe he felt bad I don't know but I don't know what it is something something 50% <laughs> chocolate just arrived in Hebron. We're gonna do a tour with a, a local here from a Palestinian community-based organization. Yeah, just to hear from him and tell us a little more of the history. But yeah, we got off at the wrong stop, so we're just walking there. It's very empty. Yes, I think they also call it the ghost city. And yeah, really curious to see what this day is gonna bring. Sorry, mom and dad. I know you told us not to go here. <laughs> A donkey! Oh my, that's a donkey? No, that's a sheep. I said that's oh. a goatee and that's a donkey. And see the difference between <laughs> one. Bullet. Oh wow. 
M16 mm -hmm. wow. against children, uh, which is really sad. Is something happening there? Why are they screaming and running? Sometimes soldiers are shooting tear gas in the morning. And how are you? This boy always interested to learn English. Ah. I'm uh, really happy to say his face brings uh, happiness. Yes. And look back. So we will be happy to take him with us to uh, teach him some uh, uh, as well. Where are you from? Germany and Canada. You are welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is one of the biggest Israeli settlements in the old city. This settlement was established in 1982. I want the world to know that we are very simple people. We are simple, we want to live, we want to have the, the simplest and the best life we can. The thing that you see in, on the internet is not real, it's just media, you know, it's just media. Made it to the Dead Sea. Look at everyone. Everyone's floating. It's way hotter than in Jerusalem, and we got our freaking luggage here. Any takers? <laughs> so I guess we just gotta take it with us. Okay, well, maybe Alexis can flirt with the lifeguard. Oh, yeah. But maybe you can ask him where we could put it. I rinsing point. That's funny. Well, I guess the plan worked. So the special thing about the Dead Sea is it's like way below sea level. It has nine times, I think, the usual salt content and apparently feels more like oil. And you famously float in it. So let's see. How does it feel? It literally feels like anti-gravity. So we checked into our beautiful desert view airbnb we had some great plans but we just came back from dinner and the power is out or it's like they have like the electricity company has like very low power or something also i'm scared out there like there was some whispering people talking in the tent we've all seen the rental right and then there's like hyenas out there you're not watching a horror movie tonight Today we're just going to hang out, enjoy the desert, relax, and yeah, we'll see what we get up to. I'm gonna try to spot some animals. We are going on a desert hike now. It's finally getting a little less hot.
It's the last morning in Tel Aviv. We're gonna fly back to Amsterdam today. Yeah. Doing a last kitty feeding. So how are you feeling about heading back to Amsterdam? No. I don't want to go back. But tomorrow we'll see me so again. Yes, that's that's the best thing. And yes, Amsterdam is super nice, but ugh, the weather, man. I know it's going to be 13 weather. degrees and it's like 27 here. This neighborhood that we stayed in this time, we like the first neighborhood better, but this one reminds us very much of Neukölln in Berlin. Yeah. It's called Florentin. It's very like hipster vibes. There's even a bar called Berlin in Florentin. So <laughs> I think, I mean, Tel Aviv really is an amazing city. It is definitely authentically a queer friendly place because just the people that are here, there are a lot of queer people. No we one's like, no one's like looking at you weird if you're like queer and you're holding hands. Like we don't feel uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah which was definitely a different story in Jerusalem. We were like, okay, this is a very religiously loaded place. Yeah. <laughs> so let's not do this. But Tel Aviv is definitely a bubble. And if you do come visit here, definitely do make a point out of seeing other places, especially Palestine as well. Also, yes, we definitely don't agree with what the Israeli government is doing and we saw it firsthand. No, absolutely However, not. However, I also think that you shouldn't let a country be defined by the government but also by the people that are inside of it and obviously not everyone here agrees with that so be conscious with where you do put your money and do look into ethical travel as well maybe you can now make a decision for yourself if you'd like to come here we will see you at the next one cheers, cheers. <laughs>